Hey Twink, you know the uh, sneaky parasol I got on that quiz show? I could change it to someone when I use it, or someone else when I use it, right? So don't you think I could, uh, can use it to get out of here? Yeah, I bet you can. Why don't you try it out? Press B while facing whoever it is you want to transform into. What's good and what's up guys, let's do Jet here some more, let's play Paper Mario. In the last episode, we defeated Hufflepuff in a very fierce battle, and we rescued a star spirit. In this episode, pew, pew, we're gonna go sneak around with our sneaky parasol. A lot of people watch that every single time, but go out there here, instantly shoots us out here. And when we step outside... So how the sneaky parasol works is if you slowly walk up and you go boop. Oh, you need to be sort of in range. You need to be kind of close to them and you transform. If you want to change back, just press B. So transform into them. And make sure you have your button or your finger off of the B button. And you can come and chat with these guys. Hey, how's it going? Phew, they've been working me like a dog lately. And we are now a Koopa Patrol. Say, I heard that Kami Koopa is building some big thing above uh, Pe Princess Peach's castle. I bet you it's a secret weapon designed to defeat Mario. Probably not. Hey, guy. On patrol? Very good, then. You can pass through. And we can go right back in Peach's room. We. No, really. No real reason to hang out here, though. Alright, I'm going to go see if I can drop off any items. I don't think I have anything to drop off. Oh, I do! Alright, the jam and jelly you get for participating. Mario will appreciate that. And let's see, let's head up this way. You got? Oh, patrol, very good then. Basser, yep. We haven't been up here in a while. In fact, it was the very beginning of the game when we walked up here. Hey, how's it going? All quiet here. Me? Nervous? No, not not me. You surprised me, that's all. Hey, what's up? Where's my relief already? My shift has been over for ages now. Listen, could you go find a slacker and get him up here? Please, I'm exhausted. He looks like this. He looks like what? I never understand what people are saying when he talk like that. <laughs> He's probably uh, goofing off outside the castle somewhere. Here, take this to find him. And so we get the castle key. It's the key to the entrance of the castle. You won't be able to get downstairs without it. So yeah, uh, we were able to go downstairs towards the kitchen because of Gourmet Guy, but now we can go all the way downstairs because of that dude. I don't know why he has it of all people, but whatever. I shan't question it, even though I technically just did. So let's go ahead and make our way downstairs. I don't think there's anything in here. Does not look like it. Oh, you know what I kind of want to do? Says so I'm thinking about it. Let's come over here and do something potentially risky. I want to be a hammer bros. There we go. <laughs> I like that piece was also talking. What are you doing here? Get back to your station. Kimmy Cooper will choose, uh, choose both out if we uh she finds you here instead of uh, your post. So to ask, do like all hammer bros look the same, or are there like significant differences? Cause like, couldn't someone notice that we look like this guy? Why do we bother patrolling? Uh, I mean, don't you agree? Sure, I know Princess Peach got out a couple of times, but this castle's hovering in the middle of the sky. Where's she gonna go, huh? I think uh, King Bowser's nervous. He hides it well, though. What do you say? I know I'm kind of wasting time, but I'm just I'm just kind of curious. What are you looking at? I'm not uh, looking for a book. Uh, you think I'll look or the book I'm looking for? I swear, no fooling. I'm trying to study something. Here, take this to go away. Oh, cool, shooting star. So exploring has rewarded me. Excellent. All right. <laughs> I like watching the uh, the hammer bros head bobbing. It amuses me. That's also a giant door. Like, it's not that big on this side. Was it massive on the other side? I mean, whatever. Alright. Let's go ahead and actually make progress. I would continuously explore stuff like that. But, 
we do, we do need to make some progress today, so... These guys are still patrolling. We can just go ahead and open the door and go outside. Hey, here's the uh, relief guy. So sleepy. So very sleepy. Just let me uh, catch a quick nap, but don't tell anyone. Alright. What's out here? Dude, I like how they- why is there- there's just a single rock right here. I like that they were able to, like, fence up right here. Because if memory serves, they just, like, straight up left it like this wasn't like this. Can I, can I go in here? It seems to be a lot, you can't open it. Okay. So if we go ahead and change back, and then we change into... Now we are the relief. I'm pretty sure if you, uh, talk to this princess page, he'll wake up or... I actually, I don't think he catches you. I may be wrong about that, but... Let's just go ahead and make our way up here. Now that we are done goofing around. Excuse me, sir. I would like to pass. Yep. Don't mind the star child next to me. It is my prisoner. You see, I am just a normal clubber. And I am up to nothing. What do you say? Where have you been? You took your sweet time. I sure did. Ah, finally, about time. You're so late. Again! Don't you know how to read the shift schedule? Well, I guess I'll let it go this time. But watch it, okay? Okay, have a good shift. I'm shoving off. Can I have your flashlight? Don't goof off, either. You're on the thin ice, buddy. And we're just gonna hang out here. This will be right now. Okay, let's go. And this is where we met Princess Peach. I see that window is still busted. I'm surprised, like, you, they're so high up you can see stars. Like, wouldn't this be very low vacuum? Like, you just walk in here and, like, everything just gets sucked out. Ah, uh, but this is a new party castle. We haven't seen this before. Mysterious. Let's go see what that secret weapon is. I really do wonder what happens if you walk over here as Princess Peach. Oh, uh, you would get caught. I could talk to that Cooper Patrol, but I didn't. Okay, okay, everything's finally ready. Even if Mario shows up with all the Star Spears, we're, we'll still be alright. It pays to expect the worst. Absolutely, affirmative, you're right, Kim Koopa. Hmm, you there. You're doing a fine job. Keep up the good... Wait, something's weird about you. You smell... too nice. Yeah! Uh-oh. You! Why, you little Princess Peach! Unbelievable! Out again! Guards, all of you! Catch this little runway and take her back to your room. I like how Twink's just barely hiding. What a pleasure meeting you. My name is Clevar. Get it? Clevar. He's the most clever of them. Thank you for saving me. Huff and Puff is gone, so the flowers at Flower Fields can live peacefully once more. I feel that if you hadn't come, Flower Fields would never have seen the light again. Now there is only one of us Star Spears still trapped. Just one more, Mario. Please, er, here, please use my power uh, as you continue your fight. Our star engine goes up by six. Mario can now use timeout, a new star spirit power. Timeout works the exact same way as um, the stopwatch that it showed back in chapter five. Now you are able to use the power of six star spirits. If you use mine as well, it should prove to be extremely helpful in battle. Don't become overconfident though. You must be careful. Bowser has power as well. Remember that even the stronger enemies await you. I hope our power uh, will help you so that you can, uh, so that you may help us. We're all depending on you. I'll be going back to Star Haven now. I can't wait to get there. I've been terribly worried about everyone. Whee! Congratulations, young Mario. You saved the Star Spirit. Because of your efforts, Flower feels beautiful again. Thank you, Mario. It was worth living so long to meet a man of your stature. Please come see me again. I'll be looking forward to it. Yeah, no, I'm leaving. 
And back to Toad Town. See ya! Alright, so back here at Toad Town. Interesting thing, we actually do not get a hint as to where to go. Uh, we have some uh, idea if we bring out the map real quick. So we, we've looked just about everywhere. Like we've been to the desert, we've been to the ocean, we've been to the deep forest, we've been to uh, whatever this would be called. However, we have not been up here. Uh, and this is Star Haven, and that's Bowser's Castle. But like over here is Flower Fields. Uh, but we have not been to the north, and we actually have no direction where to go. Luckily, I was kind of hinting at it. Where we need to go is the Toe Town Sewers. Uh, I would go and rematch the Master as well as uh, go find that guy that Colorado wants to talk about. But we'll hang. We'll, we'll worry about that uh, after the next chapter, uh, before heading off into end game. We. So if you remember, I forget where it's at. Uh, I don't think it's on this level. Okay, good. I was gonna say, if I had to fly a blooper, that would be annoying. But, uh, I, I, yeah, I think it's on the lower levels. Yeah, I think I know exactly where it is. But there are spikes that we couldn't traverse because we had no way of going across them. Now we have a way of going across them, so... We're going to be making our way deeper into the Toad Town sewers. I don't think this should take very long at all. Um... Hopefully I can, like, avoid most of the enemies because most of the enemies are kind of irritating. But yeah, here's Spike, so we get to see Lack of Lester in action. And there's, uh, more of those guys. Kind of bait him. There we go. Alright, if we were served, there should be... Ah, right, cool. Wait, why is this here? You, you can't get to Lack of Lester without having the super hammer. Weird. I'm going to ignore them. Ignore him. Whew. Ah. I figured this was how we got this power up, but I didn't think so. So you see, we can't quite get that even with our, uh, our super jump. However, there's a massive chest here. And inside, you got the ultra boots. So our attack power is going to increase. I believe now we do four damage with normal jumps. On top of that, we could do the tornado jump by pressing A again in air. So, instead of doing the ground pound, we now do this. It's pretty neato burrito. Boing. I, now I'm at a loss as to where to go. Back. Ah! I suppose I could use this battle as an example. Uh, you see, our jump icon is now like this. And we can do far more damage. So you see we do three. These guys have, I believe, like a point defense, so. And you know what? I honestly don't care, so. I know you don't get experience for it, but I really don't want to fight these guys, so. Out of here. And we get but we get but time points. Nope. There we go. So now, now comes the fun part of finding out where to go. And these two spinies are going to be everywhere. Ooh, <laughs> I went right by that guy. Really? You can't lackluster into a warp pipe. Alright, so now we have that. Oh, okay, I think we just continue going down this way. Just gotta watch out for these uh, dark Koopas. Yeah, because, like, you see, the block right here is too high for you to get normally. Okay. So I know I'm in the, Yeah, okay, I'm in the right area. So instead of going forward, we want to come down this warp pipe right here. And you see there's a wall here that just looks kind of standout. It's, just, it's not a word, but you know what? Whatever. Load up. Hey, wait, what are you? Whoa, whoa, looky here. Hello, hello, ho. Rip cheapo at your service. You're quite an uh, enterprising fellow finding this place. What am I doing here? Just doing a little business and minding my own. You, my uh, friend, have just stumbled into great fortune, for I have a deal for you. I have something special, and it costs only 64 coins. D uh, deal? Trust me, it's a bargain. No, I don't want it. So yeah, this guy will sell you stuff. I think he just sells you badges and whatnot. And coming up here, you hear Toe Time music. There's an odd key. 
And here's a uh, locked door. If we step outside, this is the house that we couldn't get into prior. And you actually, if you could do it right, like you need to like jump off the roof, like spin on a roof or something like that. I don't know how to do it. I saw someone do it once before, but you can actually like spin jump your way into this house. It's actually kind of neat. And it uh, saves you a lot of like hassle, like coming through Toad Town series, stuff like that. Thought there would be a thing down there. Nothing, anything? Okay. Nothing, anything. I right, words good. All right, like let's go. Actually, we're gonna need what? So let's go ahead and head on up. And we can see that there are uh, blocks here that we need to hit. There we go. Actually, what's in you? Just a coin. All right. We. Oh, oh, alright, cool. The door is securely locked from the other side. What? Uh, am I missing something? Wait! I know what to do. So something I forgot is the fact that you, like, well not you specifically, you watching this video, you probably know uh, how to do it and all that. But the player, like, Twink never, uh, like, Peach and Twink never got any information, so they uh, never knew, uh, like, we never know where to go. It's supposed to come over here to Merlin's. And walking in here, oh, it's you, you came at such a good time. There's a guest waiting for you. Nice to meet you. I come from Starborn Valley. Starborn Valley is in the uh, Shiver region, uh, a chill place for, uh, far to the north, at the very end of the earth. Merli, who hails from there, said uh, that he had something important to tell you. Merli of Starborn uh, Valley is my son, Mario. It seems he's calling for you. If he is searching for you, you uh, can be sure something important is afoot. You must go to Starborn Valley. Do not delay. Yes, please hurry. I will run ahead and uh, take tidings of you to Merli. I think somewhere deep below uh, Toad Town is a pipe connected to Shiver City. Dover Valley is located quite near Shiver uh, City. Mario, hurry to meet my son. He waits uh, in Starborn Valley. Okay, so that's what you need to do, and now the door should be unlocked. So. I'm going to go ahead and then uh, end the video off right here. I know there wasn't much progress, but we did technically get Chapter 7 ready to go. So, next time, we will be heading off to Chapter 7 and continue our quest to find the last Star Spirit. So, till then, I'll see you all next time.